Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. In a group of six people, you might find out that some people are friends on Facebook, or you might find out that no one is friends on Facebook. There are many different combinations for how people can be friends or not friends on Facebook. But there is always a special property that's true. Show that there is always a group of three people where either all three people are mutual friends on Facebook or all three people are strangers. No one is friends on Facebook. Give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. We can visualize the problem using graph theory. Imagine each person is the vertex of a graph. We will draw six vertices for the six people in the group. We will draw a blue line between two vertices to represent if the two people are friends, and we will draw a red line between two vertices to represent if the two people are not friends. From a given vertex, we can have between zero and five blue lines, which is accompanied by five to zero red lines. We're going to draw five lines from one vertex and whichever lines are not blue will have to be red. So from this one vertex, we will always have one, two, three, four, or five blue lines or zero blue lines and whichever lines are not blue will be red. So if we have four blue lines, we'll have one red line. If we have three blue lines, we'll have two red lines and so on. The number of red lines and blue lines always adds up to five. Because of this, we will always have at least three blue lines or at least three red lines. We'll consider each case separately. Let's first consider that there are at least three blue lines. What we do now is we'll look at the vertices which are connected by blue lines. We'll look at the friends of this person. If any of these two people are friends, we will form a group of three people in which all three are mutual friends. In other words, we will graphically have a blue triangle. These are three people who are mutual friends. What would happen if none of them are friends? Well, in that case, we would have to draw a red line between each of these three vertices. This would represent that these three people are not friends with each other on Facebook. So we formed a red triangle, which means these three people are mutual strangers. So we've proven that we will always have at least three mutual friends or at least three mutual strangers. Now let's consider the other case where we have at least three or more red lines. Now we'll look at the connected vertices. In other words, we'll look at the people who are not friends with this person. Now, if none of these people are friends with each other, if any of these people are strangers, we're going to form a red triangle. We'll have three mutual strangers. The other case is that all of these people are friends with each other. In that case, we'll have to connect these three vertices with blue lines, which means these are three people who are mutual friends. So what we've shown by considering these two cases is that no matter how we draw this graph, no matter how these six people are friends or not friends, we always end up with a group of three people who are mutual friends, that's a blue triangle, or we have three people who are mutual strangers, which is a red triangle. It's always going to be true. This is sometimes known as the friendship theorem, and it's an example of Ramsey theory. Did you figure out this puzzle? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Prashawalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.